Before I came to office, you remember, during that campaign, the big issue was about inspector generals who would protect taxpayers' dollars who were sidelined. They were fired. Many people said, we don't need them. And fraud became rampant. Last year, I told you the watchdogs are back. Since then, since then, we've recovered billions of taxpayers' dollars. Now let's triple the anti-fraud strike force going after these criminals, double the statute of limitations on these crimes, and crack down on identity fraud criminal syndicates stealing billions of dollars, billions of dollars from the American people. And the data shows that for every dollar we put into fighting fraud, the tax areas get back at least 10 times as much. It matters. It matters. Look, COVID left its scars like the spike in violent crime in 2020, the first year of the pandemic. We have an obligation to make sure all people are safe. Public safety depends on public trust, as all of us know. But too often, that trust is violated. Join us tonight are the parents of Tyree Nichols. Welcome. We had to bury Tyree last week. As many of you personally know, there's no words to describe the heartache or grief of losing a child. But imagine, imagine if you lost that child at the hands of the law. Imagine having to worry whether your son or daughter came home from walking down the street, or playing in the park, or just driving a car. Most of us in here have never had to have the talk, the talk that brown and black parents have had to have with their children. Bo, Hunter, Ashley, my children, I never had to have the talk with them. I never had to tell them if a police officer pulls you over, turn your interior lights on right away. Don't reach for your license. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Imagine having to worry like that every single time. Your kid got in a car. Here's what Tyree's mother shared with me when I spoke to her, when I asked her how she finds the courage to carry on and speak out. With the faith of God, she said her son was, quote, a beautiful soul, and something good will come of this. Imagine how much courage and courage that takes. It's up to us, to all of us. We all want the same thing. Neighborhoods free of violence. Law enforcement of enforcement who earns the community's trust. Just as every cop, when they pin on that badge in the morning, has a right to be able to go home at night, so does everybody else out there. Our children have a right to come home safely. Equal protection under the law is a covenant we have with each other in America. We know police officers put their lives on the line every single night and day. And we know we ask them, in many cases, to do too much to be counselors, social workers, psychologists, responding to drug overdoses, mental health crises, and so much more. In one sense, we ask much too much of them. I know most cops and their families are good, decent, honorable people, the vast majority. But they risk. And they risk their lives every time they put that shield on. But what happened to Tyree in Memphis happens too often. We have to do better. Give law enforcement the real training they need. Hold them to higher standards. Help them succeed in keeping us safe. We also need more first responders and professionals to address the growing mental health, substance abuse challenges. More resources to reduce violent crime and gun crime. More community intervention programs. More investment in housing, education, and job training. All this can help prevent violence in the first place. And when police officers or police departments violate the public trust, 
They must be held accountable. With the support, with the support of the families of victims, civil rights groups, and law enforcement, I signed an executive order for all federal officers banning chokeholds, restricting no-knock warrants, and other key elements of the George Floyd Act. Let's commit ourselves to make the words of Tyler's mom true. Something good must come from this. Something good. <laughs> and all of us, all of us, Thank <laughs> you.